Today we're going to explore the Unified Toolpath, which is new in Mastercam 2022. So we're going to look under the hood here a little bit. Uh, we've got a tool that's already selected here. we got a holder selected that will work. A stock page we're going to skip for the moment just for simplicity. And I'm going to jump into Cut Patterns. In the Cut Patterns page you can do a lot of different things. Right now we're just going to do a quick toolpath with the default set out of the box. I'm going to select my drive surface and that and calculate the toolpath. And I get a 5-axis toolpath pretty quickly. But in most cases, in this case anyway, I should say, I only want a 3-axis toolpath. So I'm going to clear out of there. And I'm going to go, and I've got another level prepared here, so I'm going to open up a 3-axis sample. And we're going to go back into our unified. And I'm going to go back to cut patterns, select a drive surface. Now I'm just going to go into tool axis control. And instead of a five axis, I'm going to limit it to three. So I get three axis toolpath. In this particular case, I'm not fond of the three axis toolpath. But we have a lot of controls that change that. First thing is I don't like where it's starting. Uh, I don't like the direction it's cutting. Um, and a few other things, but that's the whole object of having the parameters page. So let's take a look at what we can do to fix those things. Under the parameters, I'm going to go back in here and go back to cut pattern. Now, one of the options I have is I'm going to say by guide curves. So I'm going to use two guide curves in this case. And I'm going to select my first guide curve is the top up here. And I'm going to select my second guide curve as the bottom here. And I'm making sure my directions match. This is just a habit I've got. I'm not sure if it matters. We'll explore that a little bit later too. So now that I've ch chosen those guide curves, let's take a look at what we get for a toolpath. All right, we've got a toolpath. It looks like it's a functional toolpath, but right now I have more retracts and so forth than I would like. But it's the tool curves are controlling how the flow of the toolpath is working, and it's looking much better than uh, what we started with. All right, so basically that gives us from five axis to three axis. Now. In this particular case, I want to get rid of these all these rapid retracts here and the jumping and all that fun stuff. So let's see if we can do that. So I'm going to go into our multi-axis toolpath. And I'm going to jump straight to cut to parameters. I'm going to give my two drive curves starting from the top. And I'm going to go to the bottom here. So now we've got another tab here saying machining. Actually, we need a drive surface first. And then we have another tab that says machining geometries. And there's a nice little tab here that says fill holes. So I'm going to go ahead and see what we can do about filling those holes. And this is kind of cool. Instead of having to plug those holes or cap those holes or build a surface or anything else, I can basically, with one button, be able to flow over those holes. And I don't have all those retracts and things that I didn't like before. Now, one problem we do have with this particular pull path, I should say, is it's not going in the direction we want because I want to start from the top and flow down because there's, there's going to be material in my way at this point in time. If I start down here, it's, it's going to be a problem. So I'm going to go back to my parameters and let's see if what we can do to fix that. Under our cut pattern page, I can say flip step over. 
and it gives a little check mark here and shows you, which, you know, I'm changing directions. And, it's, and once it calculates, we'll see what we get for result. Now it starts from the top. So far, it works pretty good. So I have a little bit more control with the drive curves and filling the holes and all that fun stuff. So that, that's much better. Thank you for joining me for another Mastercam video. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. You'll be notified each time a new video is released.